I'm Sean Tierney, your host, and in today's video, we'll create our very first VMware Workstation Windows XP virtual machine. With VMware Workstation open, I'll select the Create New Virtual Machine button to launch the wizard. And I'll select Typical. Now, Workstation is looking for my operating system installation disk, which I've already loaded into my laptop's DVD drive. Looks like it's found it, and it's telling us it's going to use the easy install mode. Next, I'll enter in my Windows XP product key and a username and a password. At this point, we have to name our VM and choose where it will be saved. I'm going to shorten the name and locate my VM in my document library. Next, I'll leave the maximum disk space at 40 gig, which I found is large enough for most VMs. And finally, I'll click on the Finish button to begin the VM creation process. All right, we just received a removable devices pop-up notice, and it's explaining how a workstation handles removable devices and how we can connect and disconnect to them with our VM. At this point, I'm going to speed up the video as installing Windows XP Professional can take some time. As a matter of fact, on my laptop, it took nearly 23 minutes to install. All right, now we're done. We now have a new Windows XP Pro virtual machine. 